Hey everyone, I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Over the weekend, Bitcoin Z forked to the Equihash 1445 algorithm. Tomorrow we should see Safecoin move over as well. So in this video, I just want to talk about the miner that people are using and show you how you can set it up. So um, I'll just kind of show you here. There, right. So this, this is my awesome miner installation right now. I've got four different rigs running. Uh, and you can see that I'm mining Safecoin at Equipool, but if I stop this just now, you go down here, you can see I've got Equihash1445. So I tested it yesterday and I set myself up with this 1445 algorithm. I'll, I'll jump back to Awesome Miner later and I'll show you how, how I set it up there. Um, but I'm using the EWBF CUDA Equihash Miner. Um, so you can see that that's me mining with the new algorithm. All set up to go there. Um, so the reason I wanted to do that is um, is because I intend to mine Safecoin, but if you are, you know, whether you want to mine Bitcoin Z, Safecoin, or any other coin which moves over to this algorithm, I would use Bitcoin Z as a template, get it set up for that, and if it's working for Bitcoin Z, you'll get it working for any other coin. You just have to tweak uh, the pool settings and all that. Uh, so if I jump over to my browser just now, this is the miner that everyone is using just now, EWBF CUDA Equihash Miner version 0.2. This uh, actually, I think, have I got, I've actually got 0 0.1 there, I believe, have I? Yeah, I've got, mine says 0 0.1 there, but um, basically this is the only miner that's kind of working just now. There was another miner, Zhash, or Zhash miner, or Zhasher, I don't believe that was working too well. This is the one that everyone is recommending. I don't believe there is a good AMD miner right now either. That's disappointing as well. But, you know, it's one of those things where we should see an AMD miner being developed over the next week or so. Uh, and there might be some pools that have been a little bit slow to, you know, to update their, their setup for this new algorithm. So this is the, the miner that you guys need to um, download. That's there. Now, Bitcoin Z moved over yesterday, um, and the two pools I'm going to use an example here, Equipool and Mining Speed. There's a lot of other pools that actually use this as well. Um, you can see Bitcoin Z there. Um, now, yesterday when it launched, the difficulty, you know, when it, I think it was like 10 in the morning or something like that, it launched UK time. And if you were lucky enough to get in there in the beginning, you would have got a lot of coins the first few hours because people were still setting up and all that. Um, but the difficulty slowly moved up. Now, at the top of the page here, you can see Bitcoin Z fork to Z hash algo. Please update your miner to EWBF. And then there's a link to that page. Please add these two flags in the miner. And it's like hyphen hyphen algo 144 underscore five hyphen hyphen pairs Bitcoin Z. Now, I believe this is case sensitive. So do make sure that that is um, use the capitals there. Just copy and paste. Uh, there's instructions over in Equipool as well. And you can see it there. Minus minus algo 1445 pairs Bitcoin Z. And then it's got all this other information if you want to add it as well. They're, they're just giving you an example as far as the port. If you want to put a minimum payout, if you want to, you know, set the user in the pool and all that. Um, so what I'm going to do is if I jump over to here, so this is my, my desktop, and this is Equash Mine. It says version 0 0.1 here. Um, now the text document here, which brings up, it's actually got my 1080 Ti because it's the, you know, it's actually found in this PC. But what you want to do, um, if you want to run this directly in your rig or in your PC, you need to edit this. Um, what is it? Just the application miner, or it's, it's the miner? Is it, no, sorry, it's the miner CFG file, I think. Yeah, that, yeah, it's miner CFG. We're going to see the application. It's the miner CFG file. So you go to this miner CFG file here, um, and this uh, is where you want to be changing details. So you can see here it's got pairs zero POW, but what you'd want to be doing is, um, you know, pairs there. You want to be changing that to Bitcoin Z. So you change that to Bitcoin Z. Um, now also, this is set up to support the 1927 algorithm as well. So this is what you need to change to 1445. Now, the, if you're going to implement this in Awesome Miner or any other solution, you, you obviously have to do things a little bit differently. Um, now, as far as that running there, um, you've got the port. This is where you need to enter your pool information that you've got the main server and then a backup server. 
you want to add your server information there. Um, so for example, if I was using Equipool there, I would maybe use, where is it? Um, mine dot, yeah, I think that's it. So I'd maybe use that. Um, so, sorry, I'll go to the main server. Maybe use that and then it's got port 5063. It's just copy and paste. And then it's got an address and all that. Now I'm not gonna actually start this miner. Um, I'll save this just now. I'm not gonna start this miner because um, I'm not actually gonna be using it. And I don't wanna run this on my main PC when I'm recording because the graphics card is being used right now um, to actually record. But essentially that's all you're doing guys. You're gonna download this miner from here, EWBF Kudakash miner. And you either need to modify this CFG file directly with all you know the information you get from the pool that you're using. This is Equipool, there's mining speed, there's a lot of other pools that support it. Um, and you want to modify this file in Textpad. Uh, and just make sure you complete all the information. I might, I don't know if I'm missing out a few other things, but really it's just the server information, the pool information there. Make sure you change the pairs to Bitcoin C information about what you know, what will happen with SafeCoin will come from the pools in the future as well. And then there's 1445. But really, if you can get set up for Bitcoin Z, you will get set up for SafeCoin and any other coins. Um, now, that is how I get set up for, you know, if you want to modify it directly. But if I um, if I jump, in fact, I'll jump back to my monitor. I'm going to bring up Awesome Miner now. Now, you can see I've got these... Um, I've got Bitcoin Z down the bottom here. They're all stopped because I'm mining SafeCoin in the present pool, which is still Equihash. Uh, but I can apply a template. Um, and I've got Bitcoin Z there. And this template has got the information that I need. So what I did was I uploaded this new um, this new miner. So you can see that there. So I've got description. I've just called it Bitcoin Z. Algorithm, unspecified. I've chosen the EWBF Zcash Miner as a software, but instead of going automatic download, I've going I've went to specify existing in installation path, and then I've just browsed to the, um, the location of the software, and you can see it there, and I've just selected it there. So once that's selected, um, you know, it will launch that software that I just showed you, that software over here. And now that's all you have to do. Make sure you pick your pool there. You can see I've set up a pool for Bitcoin Z Equipool. I've also got one for Mining Speed. Um, and I've got Bitcoin Z selected there. Now, the one thing you need to do here is go to the command line. And this is something that you, to, you need to do. And again, this will be a little bit different in Smos or any other application. But I know in Awesome Miner, this is what you need to do. You need to add in these parameters. And again, you will see these parameters here. Just copy and paste them if you want. That's, that's you know, from Mining Speed. Um, and there's got them there as well in Equipool. Every pool will detail how you do this, but um, but essentially you want to go to the command line in Awesome Miner and just copy and paste that over. I do believe this is case sensitive, so make sure you just copy and paste and you've got the letters, you know, capitals uh, there as well. So it says pairs Bitcoin Z. Um, make sure those parameters are applied to the command line so that when you apply the template, it will not only go to this unique uh, mining software, the one that isn't built into Awesome Miner. So you're, you're specifying the exact miner, you're specifying the pool, but you're also having to specify this command line so that it makes sure it makes sure um, that it's 1445 um, for the parameters and it's got pairs, Bitcoin Z. So that's all you have to do. And once that's set up, it's just a matter of applying a template to your miner. And that's you good to go. It will launch. Um, as I said, you know, just once you've set up there, um, push that. So what I would do is, um, if I stop that just now, I would go to apply template. Once the template's set up, once the pools are set up, go to there, push OK, and then push start. That's how you do it in Awesome Miner. It is awesome. It is very easy to set up. Um, if you're a miner, most of this is part for the course. You will understand what I'm talking about here. Um, it should be fairly simple to do. But refer to the pool if you're unsure about it. Your pool will have information about what parameters to use. And I will, of course, link to um, this software so that you can download it yourself, which will also be linked. You know, it's going to be linked in all these um, pools as well. Now, as far as SafeCoin goes, um, I launched the Discord there. As far as SafeCoin goes, they are going to move on over tomorrow and according to what Jeff said in the discord today it should be block 175375 and he's saying it's about Tuesday night so um, 
if I launch an explorer, when when this block here, so when this block goes to 175375, um, there, that is when it forks, and you can see that, you know, the, the block time is uh, 60 seconds, so it's every minute on average. Um, so you can work out, it's going to be tomorrow night. I don't know if he is talking about UK time, USA time, I, I don't know, you know, if he's talking North American time. Um, but if you are planning on mining Safecoin tomorrow with this new algorithm, then make sure that you just hang out in the Discord tomorrow and just look at the announcements and look at what people are talking about. Everyone will be asking this question, so you will see the information there, and you will see information being updated on mining speed and all that as well. Um, but essentially, yeah, once you've got it set up for Bitcoin Z, all you'd have to do is then go back to Awesome Mine, or just go back to the configuration file and just change the pools and make sure you change that pairs to safe coin or whatever it's going to be changed to. Now, as that's how you set it all up, but as far as whether you should mine safe coin, I don't want to influence you too much about that, but what I will say... Because you guys know I'm on the safe coin team, so yeah, maybe you think I'm biased here. But what I will say is, for for the first few hours at least, here's a little tip: for the first few hours at least, because some people, you know, that they they won't um, be changed over to this new algorithm, and they won't be set up for it either. My recommendation is to get prepared, get set up, make sure you've got Bitcoin Z working, even if it's just to test it for five minutes. Once you're set up, then when safe coin's ready to go, you just copy the you know the pull information over if you need to, or just select it an awesome miner or SMOS, whatever you use. Um, once that's set up, you just change the parameters so that it says safe coins and not Bitcoin Z. The reason I'm telling you to do this is because if you look at what happened yesterday with Bitcoin Z, for the first, what, six, seven hours, difficulty was very low. I, unfortunately, was asleep at the wheel, but the people who were mining got a lot of coins. Now, I'm not saying this is definitely going to happen to safe coin, but... It could happen. Now, just that aside, even if it, even if it is a bit of a, a coin bonanza for the first few hours, putting that aside, I'm planning on mining safe coin for the next few weeks now. The reason being that this new algorithm means that it's not a nice hash yet, and I'm not sure you know when it will be added to nice hash. This Equihash one four four five um, algorithm, and when it is added, I'm not sure how they can pass over parameters to the miner as far as you know putting over the pairs parameter i'm not sure how that works maybe nice hash will do some sort of workaround maybe mining rig rentals will do some sort of workaround i'm not sure yet but what i do know is that i believe it's going to be at the very least it's going to be a couple of weeks of mining where no one can come in from nice hash and no one can use um any kind of asig miner or fpga or anything like that it's going to just be gpu miners so bitcoin z uh, and safecoin for the next I would say even maybe for the next month, at the very least, I think it's safe that it's only going to be GPU miners mining it. No nice hash, no ASIC miners, no nothing, just people with GPUs mining it. Um, you know, some people have said that maybe, uh, uh, you know, the, the hash rate might drop because of that, but I'm hoping it's going to be fair. I'm hoping it's going to encourage more people to the community because of that. Um, because there aren't many coins out there now that, you know, that isn't, Supported by nice hash or by mining rig rentals or anything like that. And as I said, I'm not I'm not uh, saying that nice hash and mining rig rentals are evil or anything like that. But I do know that from a mining perspective, over the last few weeks, we've had Z9 Mini uh, miners mining to save coin that's you know shot up the difficulty. We've also had a lot of people sending nice hash power. And you know, I did a tutorial about nice hash last week. I did it myself for a few hours, but. People were sending huge amounts. You know, I was trying to do it fair. I only sent like 100,000 souls. Some people were doing mega souls, mega souls, spiking the difficulty up and getting the blocks and GPU miners basically didn't stand a chance. So I'm excited about this algorithm change, but there, are, there is some work to do, guys. There is some work to do. We need to support AMD miners as well. We can't forget about AMD miners. I hope that they come out with a good AMD miner, some sort of solution for AMD people. I don't have AMD cards myself, and you could argue that Equihash has always been a NVIDIA type coin, a NVIDIA, NVIDIA type algorithm, um, but I would like to see um, people with the AMD cards get a crack at the whip as well. Hopefully we'll see other Equihash miners release some sort of modification to their software so that it supports 1445 and the other one, which is 1927. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes, but remember, this is brand new, guys. This is absolutely brand new. Bitcoin Z have been on it for a day at this point. Safe coin are only going on it tomorrow. We might see some other coins jump over to 1445. 
just get ready guys, set up your templates, get everything set up, download this software, get it all set up um, with Bitcoin Z. Maybe you want to mine Bitcoin Z today, the returns yesterday were really good, they might be good today as well. Um, yeah, get set up so that if you do want to mine Safecoin and being there at the beginning, you're good to go and you're not messing about with any configuration files. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you're unsure about this, you can leave a comment in the comment area. But also recommend going to the Bitcoin Z and Safecoin Discord groups. You, you you know, there's a lot of people there who will be mining it and they'll be able to answer any questions you've got about this. So until next time, guys, take care.